let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the control plane, the forwarding plane, and what open flow is. That's really what we're talking about today. And so these two planes here, control plane, for example, and the forwarding plane, we talk about in other videos about what the need for these planes are. So I would suggest you viewing that. But let's talk about open flow and its difference between open flow and SDN, uh, software defined networking. Open flow, which we're talking about, is the protocol by which, okay, a protocol by which, we're talking about open flow, I'm sorry, enables communication from, communicates from the control plane uh, to the forwarding plane. So this is a protocol that enables this communication. This is not a service defined SDN, excuse me, software defined network. A software defined network essentially, um, and see the other videos please on this, it basically has what they call a controller, or a, a centralized location by which the management files, right, tables, security, things of that nature, get routed basically from the hardware where we used to manage it at the hardware. Now we manage it here within the SDN environment. Within the SDN environment, this is software managed so that we can set up on this controller different policies, things of that nature, in order to manage our environments with SDN. Again, this SDN is not May I repeat, is not open flow. I have several people that ask me this question. It's not open flow. Please do not confuse the two. You will sound silly in a meeting if you do that. But open flow is a protocol by which SDN runs. So there is a link, and it's not crazy that, you know, we talk about these things uh, interchangeably sometimes. But open flow is kind of an enabler to the SDN environment. It is not the only protocol that can perform this function. It just happens to be an open source and one of the more popular ones today.